Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel. Today is Thursday, February 6th. It's week 5 of my Euro Sex Vacation 2014. Today is the beginning of the Winter Olympics in Sochi. And that is why I'm doing today's Throwback Thursday topic of motivation. Every athlete ever in the history of the world, the best, Michael Jordan, uh, any of the athletes you're watching over the next few weeks in the Winter Olympics, um, Tiger Woods, everybody, they all at some point have problems with motivation. Uh, and I know I certainly do, ever since I started working out. Uh, everyone, and I'm sure you probably do, maybe even right now, uh, if you start at the beginning of January, you're already a month into your diet and you might start lacking motivation. Uh, you're not seeing results as much as you were when you first started losing weight or building muscle or whatever your goals were. Well, there's three main points that I want to talk about regarding motivation and one is self-motivation. You have to be, you have to be self-motivated if you want to accomplish anything. You can dream all you want, but unless you're self-motivated to reach those goals, they aren't going to happen. You can have people helping you, but if you're not self-motivated to go get the help or to go do this and do that in order to make it happen, it's not going to happen. I know I try to practice that all the time. In order to stick to things, in order to reach those goals, you have to be self-motivated. If you try to diet plan or something else, uh, any kind of goal that you had, if you didn't make it, you probably didn't have enough self-motivation at the time. And uh, there's two big ways that I use to stay motivated and keep on track, stay focused. The first one is music. Uh, you don't have to involve anybody when it's just music. I know uh, most hours of the day, especially now that I'm working on the computer all the time on my website, I listen to a lot of music. And even at the gym when I'm around people, I'm still working out by myself. I listen to music. It's what helps me uh, stay motivated to keep on working out or to... Uh, keep on working and stay focused on what I'm doing. So try that. I know a lot of people already love to listening to music. I know I pretty much like any type and uh, there's always some type of song for whatever mood you're in. Music, especially when you're alone a lot, music really helps me stay motivated. Number two, and uh, this involves a whole lot of different ways, is letting other people motivate you. Uh, and the reason I did this video today is because the 2014 Sochi Winter Olympics started. I know I was trying to lose weight during the Summer Olympics two years ago. If you're not motivated watching the athletes in the Olympics that don't get paid, they've been training for years, some their whole lives, and unless they win a medal, they really don't make any money. And even when they do win a gold medal, a silver medal, or a bronze medal, whatever they win, the government takes a third of it. So they do it for love of their country and love of their sport. They don't do it for any other reason. They don't have million dollar contracts. Uh, they don't have all these different, the best athletes do get some sponsorships, but a lot of them do it just for the love of their sport, love of their country, and uh, things like that. So if things like that don't motivate you, that's probably a problem. There's not a whole lot that's going to motivate you. But uh, other than the Winter Olympics, the Summer Olympics, things like that, watch sports on TV if you have a particular sport. Uh, I know movies. Every now and then, if I'm lacking motivation, I have a motivational movie night. Uh, a lot of Sylvester Stallone movies. Um, Rockies. I mean, how many food challenges have I done where the restaurant played the, the Rocky training music? Um, which is, there's music again. But uh, use other people. Uh, people. People that you know are better than you. One of my favorite quotes is that uh, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. So it's good to surround yourself and uh, keep watching people that are better than you that you want to kind of model yourself after. Watch them, let them motivate you and because they're so much better and you want to kind of elevate yourself, it'll help you stay motivated to keep on working out, keep on track, doing whatever goals that you have are. Uh, say you're tired of working out by yourself. I know I've worked out for years by myself and every now and then I do lose motivation. Try maybe a group class if your gym has like a group class or something like that. Or um, watch other people at the gym, see what they're doing. Maybe find somebody with a body that uh, you're kind of jealous of, let's just call it that. But uh, watch him for a little bit. Let him motivate you or let her motivate you by doing what she does naturally and then you'll 
be naturally uh, kind of want to elevate yourself in order to uh, make yourself better. Um, another way is just to, like what I'm doing, uh, publicly let people know about your goals and then uh, obviously your friends are going to try to help keep you on track by uh, both asking you how you're doing, especially girls. Girls are always into that kind of helping each other morally, spiritually, emotionally and all that stuff. Let your friends know that you're trying to lose weight and they'll constantly try to uh, keep you motivated. So if you're not always self-motivated, if there's a little bit of a lack, let other people kind of uh, help you get through that small little short period of time. And uh, obviously, if you are watching the Winter Olympics over the next few weeks, those people did not get to the Olympics by watching TV all the time. So maybe try to schedule most gyms, most cardio equipment at the more, uh, I guess, the more up-to-date gyms. They all have TVs on them. If you feel like you're not productive while you're watching TV, but you still want to watch the Olympics, go to the gym schedule it around some type of uh, Olympic event that you're wanting to watch and watch it while you're doing an hour of cardio or something like that because while watching them you'll be motivated to maybe step it up on the treadmill a little bit or get on the stair stepper or uh, the elliptical machine but uh, hopefully these tips have helped because uh, a lot of people deal with motivation problems I know I've got additional uh, motivational tips on the fitness and nutrition advice section on my Randy Santel website, randysantel.com. But uh, yeah, just try to uh, use music and then just let other people help motivate you if uh, just for a brief moment you don't have that motivation at that particular time. But uh, hopefully this video helped. If it did, please share it. Uh, check out all my other videos on my Randy Santel Talks page. But uh, you can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, uh, and Google+. Plus and Instagram, but uh, until I check in on Monday and uh, the Just a Tip Tuesday video, thanks for watching.